We were told to look at Joe Biden as the model of integrity. But when you look at his 47-year career in politics, the people who benefited are his family members, not the American people. Joe says he'll build back better. Yeah, build the Bidens back better. That was former Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi delivering a withering indictment of the Biden family at the GOP National Convention last night, slamming Joe Biden over pay-to-play conflicts of interest involving Hunter Biden's business dealings in Ukraine and China. Joining me now is Pam Bondi. He, she serves as Women for Trump co-chair. It's great to have you on, Pam. Boy, you didn't hold back. Is this a preview of what the president will do with the debates? <laughs> well, Liz, thank you for having me on. So happy to be on your show. And, you know, I'm not going to get ahead of the president, but I think the people need to hear answers to these questions. And, you know, we keep saying Joe Biden's staying in the basement, but he really is. We have heard nothing about this man, nor his policies, other than he wants to raise taxes and, and embrace the policies of the far left. So will President Trump ask him about it? That's up to President Trump, if we can even get the guy to debate us. Um, I think he's going to try to back out of all of the debates because I think he's scared to death. We know nothing about what Joe Biden wants to do as president and everything about what President Trump will do in his second term. He wants to create 10 million jobs in 10 months. He, it's, it's unbelievable everything that President Trump is doing and will continue to do. He's going to eradicate COVID. He's going to end our reliance on China, which is something, Liz, you know, Joe Biden is a country he's very fond of. So yeah. um, it's, I think he needs to debate us, and let's see what happens. I, I, don't, I don't think he's confident to debate. In, in the media downplaying the Biden conflicts of interest story, even as Senate Homeland Security is probing the Ukrainian energy company where Hunter Biden was paid a lot of money to serve on its board, that company sought to leverage its ties to former Vice President Biden to get better treatment at the Obama State Department. Uh, you know, the Obama State Department officials and administration officials were warning Joe Biden, hey, Hunter and you, you have conflicts of interest here. Your reaction to that, you really did a major takedown of that last night. Thank you. And actually, we, we toned it down. It was, I think it was very mild uh, what I did. And the reason we had to talk about that was if you listen to the Democrat National Convention, all they talked about, Hillary, Bill Clinton, Michelle Obama, that Joe Biden will restore integrity to the White House, how ethical he is versus Donald Trump. And, you know, what they said about Joe Biden is just not true. You know, Hunter Biden was not a good person dealing with the Ukraine nor with China. And yet there was a lot we didn't talk about. I toned it down a lot. Again, you know, Chris Hines was his business partner. That's John Kerry's stepson. Chris Hines and Devin Archer, who was, Je who was Hunter Biden's business partner, they're all best friends. Chris Hines had known these guys for years. Chris Hines backed out of doing business with his two best friends because he thought what they were doing when they entered into the deal with the Ukraine, with Burisma, this corrupt company, was wrong. He didn't just say, I'm not going to do the deal. He documented in a letter to the State Department that what they were doing was wrong. If that wasn't a warning shot, a warning sign to them not to do it, and they still did it. You know why? Because Hunter Biden made millions of dollars, not only in the Ukraine, but also in China. And Joe Biden got the prosecutor fired who was investigating the corrupt company. I mean, we could go on and yeah, on let's about stay on that. Biden did. Let's stay on that. Let's stay on that for a second, because CNN is fact-checking you, saying, you know, that Biden pressured Ukraine to fire its prosecutor general, that Victor Shokin was not actively investigating that Ukraine energy company that Hunter served on the board of <laughs> in 2015 and 2016, and that Shokin was widely seen as ineffective or corrupt. Your, your reaction to the fact-check there? Yeah, they're wrong. They're wrong. Um, we we have documents saying otherwise. Victor Shokin has come out and spoken about it himself, and he said he was planning on calling Hunter Biden as a witness. And that's what happened. You know, first of all, why would the vice president of the United States care about a prosecutor in Ukraine? That makes no sense. 
unless your son was on the board of the corrupt company. It makes absolutely no sense. And yes, he had been investigating him. They, they're saying the investigation was over. It was not over. There's so much evidence that it's, it's, it's actually sad that Hunter Biden did this and that Joe Biden did this. And, you know, Joe Biden bragged about it. That, that's how all this came out. He's speaking to a small group of people. And, you know, thank goodness it came out that he, he bragged about getting the, he used the word spelled out, but the SOB fired. But he, what he failed to say was that same prosecutor was investigating his son. But to withhold a billion dollars in aid, a relief aid to the country is, is absurd what he was doing. He thought he thought he was above right. the law and he thought he could get away with it. Pam Bondi, it's great to have you on. Will you come back soon? Absolutely, Liz. Thank you so much. Okay.